Hi and welcome. This is a walkthrough of my project which serves as a basis for a system which will orient itself based on inputs from a sensing device. The Python server code consists of configuration for Cloud MTT and Firebase. Two instances of the helper classes Servo and Sensor Read have been created. And using those instances, Sensor Read and Servo, calls have been made to enable the project's functionality. This allows the app to get sensor readings and trigger servo functions based on proximity readings. The sensor read class file abstracts all the functions for getting sensor data. The servo class file handles the servo functionality similarly. When the server code is being run, you can see that the data is being pushed to the Firebase database and to the cloud MQTT server. The sensor readings had to be converted to a byte array when being pushed to the cloud MQTT. The Android app contains the same data that's being received from the, the Firebase storage system. So you can see that the temperature, well, the humidity and range varies. The toggle button automatic or manual controls whether the servo is being moved automatically by proximity range or using the controls on the Android app. So using the Android app, you can set the controls to manual or automatic, which will turn on, which will turn on the manual override on and off, as well as control the servo angles. When set to automatic, the ultrasonic ranger's readings will s trigger the servo to rotate accordingly. In this case, it will go from 0 to 180 degrees. Using the Android app, you can set the manual override button. So in this case, so in this case, the seek bar changes will register and the servo will move accordingly. Now finally on to the Java receiver. So in this case I've made a SQLite database and a table so I'll just quickly drop it to start fresh. And just recreate the table. Now when I select from the table it will be empty. I'll start the Python server running to collect the sensor readings and then check the table again so it's still empty and once I start the Java receiver you could see the sensor readings being pulled down from the NQTT cloud server and if you check the table now you can see that the values have been filled just try one more time and the database seems to be locked so I'll just try and turn off the, the Java receiver and now when I search the table again you can see that there's been more input being stored so 